this is John Styles, investment real estate agent and landlord. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, Real Estate Styles. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Dash Lander from the Dash Lander Insurance Agency, Farmers Insurance. And today, we're going to be talking about renter's insurance. So, Dash, fill us in. Uh, what is renter's insurance and maybe what are some misconceptions about it? Sure. So, renter's insurance... At its most basic, uh, it covers your personal property. So anything that you move into your apartment, in the truck, or whatever comes with you, uh, potentially all of that can be covered uh, for very little expense per month, and that's kind of the, the biggest part about it, the most important part about it. Uh, additionally, I guess the biggest misconception um, is that the landlord or your apartment complex offers any coverage for your own belongings. So you have a very traditional situation, someone above you, their toilet overflows, it runs down and it ruins some of your belongings. You see a lot of apartment managers dealing with upset renters who thinks that there's coverage involved, and unfortunately, it's your responsibility as the renter to, to put that coverage in force, and that, that's where renter's insurance comes in. Okay. And typically, what would it cost to get a renter's insurance policy? Uh, that's that's the biggest thing about it, too, is they're very, very inexpensive. Um, it's kind of based on, or rather, it is based on the number of, the limit that you want for your personal property. So. As, as little as ten to twelve thousand dollars worth of personal property protection can be earned for ten to twelve dollars a month. So it's very, very inexpensive. Uh, even if you take forty to fifty thousand, if you have a very well furnished apartment or something like that, um, even that is only twenty to twenty-five dollars a month. So it's uh, it's it's quite a good deal for the fact that it covers such an extensive part of your your life. Nice, nice. Okay, and what things would it cover and not cover? Sure, so the, the basic parts of it, as I said, um, your actual belongings, your personal property, you choose the limit that best reflects that for you. Uh, it also covers your uh, liability, your premises liability. So if I walk into your apartment and I slip and fall, um, whether it's your fault or not, and I try to sue you, um, you have the li liability protection for your apartment. Uh, so your, your insurance company will represent you and, and defend you uh, if you are negligent and you are liable for damages. So um, the final part that it covers in addition to the liability and the personal property, it also covers what's called your loss of use or your additional living expenses. So if you have to live somewhere else because of a fire or a flood and you're, you're, it's not, not inhabitable, um, your insurance company can extend coverage for another place that you have to live in, in the meantime, whether it's a couple weeks or a couple months. So. Well, that sounds like yeah. everybody that's a renter really needs this. It's definitely a no-brainer. It's definitely so, a no-brainer. Okay. Well, if somebody wants to get some more information or purchase it from you, uh, how should they get a hold of you? Sure. So if you prefer email, uh, you can reach me at D as in dash, Leander, L-E-A-N-D-E-R, at farmersagent.com. Otherwise, you can text or call 952-465-7187. Uh, uh, I'd be happy to be a resource for you. No obligation quote, of course. It's very inexpensive, very quick, very easy, very little information required. So feel free to reach out. Okay, well, great. Thank you so much for coming in today. Of course, thanks for having me. And thank you for tuning in to our channel, uh, Real Estate Styles. If you've liked what you've seen here, please do like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you the next time.